Hello everyone, welcome back to Dentistry Made Easy. The topic that we are going to discuss today is faulty radiographs. Now we are going to divide this topic into multiple parts so that we can understand this topic well because this is a very important topic from clinical point of view as failure to get a good radiograph may lead to improper diagnosis and treatment and that will cause us to repeat the x-ray thereby increasing the radiation exposure to the patient and the operator and also we are increasing the cost of the treatment now this particular part is all about the projection errors and also i'm going to show you at the end of this various parts of this faulty radiograph the actual iopas like we are going to discuss seeing those iopas how the errors they look on that iopas mostly we should know we have three major parameters when we are taking the x-rays so three major parameters are it is the kilo voltage peak the next is the milliampere and the third one is the time which is measured in seconds now majority of the times kvp and ma they are fixed and the one which is variable is the time so the time it depends on the thickness and the density of the object now starting with the errors the first projection error is about the apical ends of the teeth getting cut off now this is caused because the film it is placed too close to the teeth in the maxillary arch when we are taking the x-ray with the help of the paralleling angle technique so in this what happens is the apical end of the teeth they are getting cut off as i said the first reason can be if you are placing the film too close to your teeth so this can be avoided by placing the film at a appropriate distance or you can also use the bisecting angle technique in the case of maxillary arch now the next reason for the apical ends of the teeth to cut off is it can be due to if your length of the teeth is only too large so in that case also if you are having your film which is placed properly you are following all the techniques but the length is only large in that case also there are chances that your apical end it can cut off so in that case you need to use proper like film size the next projection errors is about the lighter radiographs lighter radiographs they appear comparatively more whiter than the normal ones why because they have low density now in this lighter radiographs it can be because of various reason due to processing errors that we are going to see in that part only so it can be due to under development or over here if we are talking in the terms of projection so it can be due to under exposure now we have seen three major parameters earlier that was your milliampers kilo voltage peak and time so under exposure or the lighter radiographs happen when you are exposing the radiograph less than the required ma kvp or time so in that case also the radiograph will appear lighter the correction to it is you should expose the film at a proper time ma and kvp the third error is about the darker radiographs darker radiograph it appears more blackish in color it is because of high density now it is completely opposite of the lighter radiographs so lighter radiographs it was because of under exposure whereas the darker radiograph it is because of over exposure so we are exposing the radiographs at higher ma or kvp or time so in this the correction is you need to have appropriate ma kvp and time and the reason one more reason can be if the source and the film distance is too short so in that case also you can have darker radiographs whereas in the lighter radiograph the source and the film distance is longer or larger now the fourth and the most commonly seen error is the cone cut or the partial image so cone cut is nothing but you will get a partial image of that area cut is basically this area so the part which is cut 
because of that it is known as cut and cone is because earlier they used to call the x-ray tube as cone so whatever area is cut off because of the improper alignment of the tube x-ray tube object and the film can lead to cone cut so what is the correction to this cone cut now in this the x-ray it should be aligned properly with the object and the film but now if the case is where the x-ray tube head it is aligned properly but your film it is placed too mesially or distally so that can also lead to cone cut so in this the film it should be placed such that the occlusal dot which is present on the film it should be towards the occlusal plane and it should be at least 3 to 4 mm visible above this occlusal plane and the area of interest should be at the center of the film and that will prevent us from getting this cone cut now the next projection error is the blurring so blurring it can be due to movement of the film patient or the x-ray tube head during exposure so the correction it should be such that the patient they should be instructed neither to move themselves nor the film and you need to also ensure the stability of the x-ray tube head now the sixth error is about the image shape distortion so this can be due to excessive pressure which is applied over the film so now we know we have this film and we just ask the patient to hold this film with their finger but now if in the cases they are applying too much of pressure onto this film so there are chances that it gets bent at the center and here is your tooth so the correction is the film it should be supported very gently so that it should not bend now the next projection error is about the tire track appearance or the ring bone effect so now what do you mean by this tire track appearance so this tire track appearance is because you are placing the film in the reverse position rather than having that white portion front you place the opposite portion of the film now in the contents of the film packet we have already seen that we have a lead foil at the back of your film packet and that lead foil it has this embossments which are seen and if you are exposing that back part of your film packet so that embossment is seen on the x-ray it looks like tire track this is the reason it is known as tire track appearance so the correction for this is you should always have the placement of the film such that the convexity of that embossed dot that your occlusal dot it should face the x-ray tube and on your film packet you have a complete white area so you have two colors on the back side of your packet so always remember this two colors they will be on the back and that white portion will be facing the source now the next error is about the overlapped image so overlapped image is because of incorrect horizontal angulation of the cone so this is your x-ray tube head now when you move it upwards or downwards that is your vertical angulation but now if you move this x-ray tube head more mesially or more distally so that can lead to overlapping of the image so this can be avoided by having a proper horizontal angulation ideal horizontal angulation is zero degree that means your x-ray tube head it should directly expose the film at the center so the next error is the crown of the teeth they are not seen now similarly we have seen earlier the apical end it gets cut off now in this case the crowns they are getting cut off the reason can be similar as of that if the length of the teeth is large so the crown can get cut off or the apical end can get cut off so you need to use a proper size of the film and the next reason can be if your vertical angulation it decreases so that can lead to elongation of the teeth so it elongates more than the normal size so there are chances that the crown it gets cut off the next error is about the magnification so it gets magnified 
it can be due to the film object distance it is increased or it can be due to a pointed cone is used which produces the divergent beam so the correction for this is you need to use a proper recommended distance between the source and the object and you need to use a open ended lead lined cones now the next error of projection is about the black lines on the radiograph so you will see such black lines on the radiograph this can be due to bending of the film prior to its placement now this can be if you bend your x ray film at a very acute angle so that will lead to the formation of this linear angle that will result in the distortion of the film emulsion leading to this black lines on your x rays so the correction is while placing the film in the oral cavity bending or adaptation it should be as far as possible avoided now the next reason for this black lines is about the static electricity so what do you mean by this static electricity so it is the development of an electrical charge due to friction which goes on exposing the film so it is rarely seen in the intraoral whereas it is commonly seen in the extraoral radiograph and they appear as a zigzag or the tree roots appearance on the radiographs so in extraoral you will commonly see such static electricity on the opgs because of the rapid removal of the film from the packet and that will lead to the friction which leads to the development of that electric charge so the correction for this will be you need to handle the films very gently now the next error is about the doubled image on the radiograph so in this it is due to the film it is getting exposed twice to the radiation the correction or the preventive measure is after exposure the film it should be marked or it should be stored properly in a container which is 8 to 10 feet away from the x-ray tube to avoid the exposure by scattered radiation and you need to take proper measures for it now the next error is about the random artifacts that you can see on the film so the random artifacts they can be the contaminants like paper dust etc that will prevent the x-ray from reaching the film so in that case you need to always check and clean the screens inside the cassettes for the contaminants the next error is about the radio opaque artifacts that you can see on the radiograph so radio opaque artifact it can be in the terms of ornamental artifacts so that ornamental artifacts they can cast their shadows or images on the x rays or if there are some dental appliances in the mouth or if there are some foreign bodies which are present in the area that needs to be radiographed like for example the contaminants of restorative material which are there in the buccal sulcus that can also lead to radio opaque artifacts so in that case the preventive measure the correction is always as the patient to remove all the metallic objects ornaments prior to the x rays and also as the patient to gargle properly prior the x rays and also to remove such dental appliances if you can remove them like if there are some rpds that needs to be removed next error is the black dot which is seen in the apical region now we know on the x ray film you have a occlusal dot now if that occlusal dot it is not placed occlusally but if you place the film in the opposite direction and this occlusal dot it is there at the apical end so that will lead to a black dot which is seen in the apical area so always have the proper placement of the film that that embossed or that raised dot that is known as a occlusal dot itself so you need to place that occlusal dot towards the occlusal surface of the teeth now the next is about the cervical burnout so cervical burnout it is known as adumbration so in this the cervical area it looks more radio lucent it can be due to the horizontal angle of the beam it is not directed towards the contact area of the teeth
and that can lead to such radio lucent areas between the teeth so this radio lucent areas of that cervical burnout it can sometimes be mistaken for the cervical caries or root caries so always make it a point that the horizontal angulation should be proper now the next error is about the occlusal plane which is getting tilted so this can be due to if the film is not placed parallel to the incisal or the occlusal surface so this is your tooth and if you are not placing your film properly if you are tilting it too much so there are chances that the occlusal plane it gets tilted and you have this curved type of appearance on your x-ray so the correction is the edge it should be parallel it should be properly placed when you are taking the x-rays and the last projection error is about the foreshortening or elongation so in this the teeth they don't have proper size it can be shortened or it can be elongated so that is because the vertical angle it is not proper now as i said we have the vertical angulation and the horizontal angulation when you are moving it upwards or downwards you have that fixed table which is given like minus 5 Minus ten, minus fifteen. Various angulations are given for your maxilla and for your mandible. So, if the vertical angle it is increased, that can lead to foreshortening. If the vertical angle is decreased, it can lead to elongation. So, in bisecting angle technique, two factors are very important. That is, the patient position it should be ideal. That means your occlusal plane it should be parallel to the floor. and the next is the angulation it should be in the normal limits and it should be appropriate for the teeth to be radiographed so these angulations are your for bisecting angle technique so that was all about the projection errors i hope you found this video helpful and if you did then please like comment share and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much